The journey ends in exactly 24 days now, and we've got 10 days before we yell action. So, the journey begins now. To my left, Vinny. My name is Vinny. I'm Frank's friend, um, writer. See, it's difficult. <laughs> yeah. I can't talk in front of my kids. <laughs> Uh, my name is Anthony, uh, actor, playing Smog. Second film with Frank, and uh, looking forward to it. It's a good script. James, um, I'm Pimp, Stud. Um, <laughs> an actor, playing Roger. My first film with Frank. Looking forward. Juliana, I'm an actor, slash actress, playing Ruby. Friend of Frank, friend of Phil. Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill. <laughs> Bill in the movie? No. Next. I'm uh, Nick. I'm an actor playing Richard. Good. Sander. <laughs> um, I'm a part time actor, college student. First film with Frank. Many times with Frank. <laughs> Good friends. <laughs> Good to know. Mr. Kenny Harris, who's playing? Hmm? What are you Jelly. playing? What's your name of your character? Sheldon. Joey. Joey. And your experience? With what? Everything. <laughs> With acting? Life. Acting, oh, modeling, a lot. life. I've been in a lot of plays. What kind of plays? Just, like, good plays. <laughs> <laughs> like Any bad plays? All. You ever done things you not want to be part of? All right. Yeah, definitely. Like this play, once where I was an old man, and I had to dance with a cane, and I didn't like it. Was it funny or dramatic? It was supposed to be dramatic, but it was just funny because I was an old man dancing with a cane, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. My name's Dan. I play the part of Morris. What would you like to know? Uh, let me you, see. Do you like this character? Yeah. I think it's going to be good. It's fun to play some evil and bad. <laughs> uh, besides this, I do professional wrestling. Been showcased on WWE as well as TNA. Uh, done some small acting bits on stage as well as on film. And now we're taking on this exciting project. Thank you. Russell, nice. nice. And I got to say, I look up to every cast member here. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Uh, wrote the first script back in 1998. We've rewritten the script about 25 major times. Names of characters, locations, motives. Uh, first copy was about 140 pages. Now we're down to 86. And it's still changing. This is a blueprint. The script will be changing on the set. We may not want to say a word or move things around, and that's all good, because that's a story. And what excites me about this is to see the DNA of, of youth and kind of dumb youth take place and, and work itself on the page. Why I say DNA is in the, in the writing, it was a very challenging thing not to uh, butt in a lot with an older person is writing as opposed to just let these guys go and take their conflicts on, on the screen and that, that's what really excites me about the film is that this can actually be a good um, coming of age film unfolding right on the screen and not artificial and I think what Frank was uh, striving for, not striving for, what he put on the page in his first write was all just kids and their internal struggles and coming together and uh, that's about it. So, no, that's it. Let's make a movie. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. You're not crazy. You're definitely weird. You're kind of a weird girl. Yeah. And maybe you're still trying to be comfortable with your weirdness. I'm a weird girl. My fucking parents say I'm weird. Uh, my last boyfriend never called me back. I don't know what to do with my life. I have all these opportunities. Kind of, kind of like yourself. Mm -hmm. Can I dress like, kind of like a Risley weirdo? Sure. Maybe, yeah. You got kicked out of Rizzi though. You went for a freshman year, you had sex with like, two, three guys, and you really don't know who you are yet. So you're discovering yourself. But That's your like character. That type. Yeah. Hit me, don't worry. We're on the set of Solitaire, where Frank is playing with the pit bull. And I'm photographing the movie. I'm not I never much played it with a camera, I just, you know, I don't know what it is, I just feel like doing it. 
Hey, what do you want to ask me? That's Ran Sabatini right there. Greatest man ever to produce a movie. Hi! I don't know, man. How's the first day going? Going good. It's going good. Um, a little bit behind schedule. Um, more of a reel of film. This is the third feature and sixth project I've done overall. We got uh, a lot of producers, so we got a lot of opinions on the set, which can be good because it's bettering the quality of the acting and overall production, if that makes any sense. I don't know. But uh, no, we're doing it. It's a 10 year project. Uh, finally getting done after 10 years. My part is I, I get to play like a biggest fantasy and that's a cop. Okay. <laughs> and an yes even no. bigger fantasy, I get to drive a cop car. Wow. <laughs> Ready in like one minute. Okay. So. Yeah. Thanks. Um, and so, um, you know, it's just it's a couple day thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I met Frank. He, um, or do you want to call this Victor? Victor. 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 Yeah, Victor Frank was the yeah. uh, stage. stage thing. Yeah. Okay. He contacted me three years ago for something completely different. I thought, this guy's off the wall, whatever. Yeah. And then he was very persistent, and he had sent me this script, and um, was persistent, talked to my agent, and so, you know, I thought, I'm from, I'm from Rhode Island. Thank you. Yes? Uh, Are you from Providence? Or well, I was born in Providence. Uh -huh. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, but so my relatives, I was brought, in, I brought up in Connecticut. Uh -huh. Most of my relatives are in Narragansett. My dad was born in Wyoming. My grandfather in uh -huh. Hope Valley. You know, so Kingston, all that stuff. So, mm -hmm. I, and this is where I spent all my summers. So, um, I feel like I live in California now. Okay. So. But, um, you know, so I decided to come out, and uh, I've been doing some, like, you know, like these types of roles in the last like five, six years, and I really enjoy it. I'm older, I'm like five years old, about five. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, you know, that's 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 well, yeah, you stuff I back, back then. Did you take like a break yeah. for a little while, and then you got back into doing this kind of. Well, you know, I've done. A, I have a sixteen-year-old daughter, so I just mm -hmm. now. <laughs> it's just being off to a sixteen-year-old is. It's nice to have a break. <laughs> How we doing, Frank? Doing good here. How do I look? Good, spectacular. Nice. Now my All right, guys, quiet, please. Let's roll camera. Rolling. And action. What's with all these one word fucking movies? Really? Marty, Jezebel, yeah. look at this. Hair, head, head troll. Marlene, Laura. Marlene, Laura, Jezebel. I'm going to name my kid when they, Henry the Fourth, Fifth. <laughs> That's what you're going to name your kid. Oliver. You should watch um, Anzio. As he walks away from the camera, he walks more in frame. You can do one of those. You take the tape. As you take the tape, you want to go like this. As the camera's there now. Let's hack it. Take your time. Take your minutes through this. God. And you're uh, straight ahead. The guy's going to be right there, straight ahead. So looking at you. Blondie. So Timmy, Timmy, Blondie, the three of them. You're going to have three heads. You know, you will see, you know, you talk, and we go far right there. You're looking at that. This is part of my catharsis. I was 12 years old. Yeah. My parents had cable. 12.30 at night, I'm sneaking downstairs to watch Cinemax. Marilyn Chambers, bedtime stories. Right? One hand on the remote, the other hand... I was watching, and I thought, wow, what a beautiful woman. But, I also thought to myself, wow, I can make a better movie than this. <laughs> That's it, my motivation for being here. Hello, Hello, cinematographer. Where are we going? What are we doing? We're going to my car. What are we going to do? Uh, we're going to do. Do you have Marilyn over there? Uh, white trash lighting. We're white going trash. To pull lighting. my car up to the uh, front over there. We're going to uh, bounce the lights off the building. Hardcore cinema. That's right. All right. Hey, we're going to hold four heads in shot. Which one of those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One head. One head. Head. To our very special guest. Aww. Now everybody gets them. So, uh, I'm going to do that. I don't want 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 to do that. When I say shut up, all right. Punk is a continuation. Continuation, though. Should I finish that? This is our little punk. Oh, okay. That's a response to that. Well, it's like, it's a special guest. Thank you so much, sir. 
Wow. Oh, it's great to have you here. Okay. Nice. So the what? So that picture's wicked pop and somebody like stole it. <laughs> so oh, we, no, I actually, I had brought that because I had, I had just grabbed a couple of pictures when I walked out of the house. So That's I, awesome I had, was hoping fun. somebody meets somebody named Brian so I could take <laughs> it to him. Oh, he's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Basketball. Getting a little tired there? I'm beat. See the, see the war wounds? The, the red hey, we'll scar? Yeah, that's from like 25 takes of the necklace or the key getting ripped off. I feel like I should have got a raise for that. You know how you get like a wet bump for getting wet? You should get a chafed neck bump. There you go. Yeah? Chafed neck bump. Chafed Sounds like a good one. Or workman's comp or, or a raise or maybe like a salary for what I'm doing. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> we'll bring it up with Frank. I'm sorry, I keep moving while you get focused. Oh, that's right. This is my other, my other spot. <laughs> this is okay. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Jay Blondell. Oh, yeah, Jay Blondell. Yep, he was brought in a few hours ago. Breaking and entering slash robbery. Uh, Who are you? Whoops. I'm a. <laughs> I'm I forgot that one. Though. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just an actor. What are you about? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. That Bonnie Rubble. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sir. Do you have a Blondell in custody? A J Blondell? And you are? Uh, I'm a friend. Oh, a friend. Okay. Blondell. J Blondell. Oh, yes. J Blondell. Uh huh. Yes, he was brought in a few hours ago. I don't want to question why a nice kid like you has back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me ask you a question. Why is it that you. Fuck. Let me ask you a question. How is it. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me ask you a question. How do you know what you're trying to say? <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> I tried. I really <laughs> tried. My, my troth, Blondell, thou hast taken too much of my time, sir. Right, that was that, that not in the scene? One more <laughs> Rub it out. Where's Blondie? This is not fair. This is not fair. Are you feeling the fit? Excellent. Yeah. Why? She stole it. I don't know. I just let her have it. There goes our inventory. You like her? It's more to hate. <laughs> you like her? You hey, like listen, her? bros, bros. When you guys are finished, I want to talk about tonight. Um, are we getting the title of Rose Star Journey? You're the smartest little angel in the clouds of heaven. What? When did this happen? You know the star? Nobody told me. Yes, we fucking did. We made these plans last night. Are you you actually don't know? You don't remember this? Actually, that was Morris who made the plans, and he didn't say anything was definite. No, so that's not interesting. What? Today's dollars in ten weeks. We're going for a record on Nobel? No, we're not. We're just going for what Morris wants. What about what I want? No one cares what you want. Stare, stare, stare. You can tell Morris, and I'll look that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to do it for real. Okay, now, now we're going to do it for real. <laughs> How was that? That was great, actually. <laughs> That's going in. Okay. <laughs> You'll be seeing that on the DVD. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey. You in a hurry to go someplace? Not anymore, officer. You know how fast you were going? No, but I bet you do. Shit, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm gonna need to see your res. Blech, fuck. My reservation. For six thirty. No shit. No shit. Sorry, I just looked right in the camera. Pizza. 
How do you difference like your outfit? Between audio I like it. Um, I think I pull like off the crazy look pretty well. Like Do it on a daily basis, so. Like you no, know, no, I just have kind of my headphones, so it, it helps but I mean, not my, enough my case. Did you like some gum? I'm all set, thank you. Do you like my gum? It looks good. Okay. You know when you're watching an old movie? It's very nice. I think my you have luggage. Luggage, yeah, just. Uh, Clown on the run. Right. I'm at eyebrows, even though I don't think they are. My fake ones, not my real ones. Oh, okay. Oh. Good, good enough. Good. Okay. Comes off well on tape. Thank you. Okay, good. As long as it's fiber still. Yeah. It Excellent. It's very noticeable. Thank you very much. Still checking out movies. I'm just marveling at these titles. Like, like, was the first one not long enough? And then they came out with I Still Know. And now it's I Always Know. I just, I like, both of them. Hanging out in the playroom. That's what I do. So what are we setting up for here, sir? We're setting up for um, Juliana playing solitaire. Candace, fantastic trash, political trash, trash. People who don't care anymore. Boston meeting. And the most powerful human foible called projection. We all need projection to live. We don't want to just live in our in our bodies as a as a creature that just a sentient, semi sentient creature without fantasy. So we have to we have to fantasize and go beyond our mortal coil. That, that poor dog over there. That dog doesn't think about John Travolta. I mean, think about it. What, what does that dog think about all day? Food, smell, uh, hi. It's a chihuahua, it might think about tortilla chips, but uh, we have to go beyond ourselves. We have to fantasize. Some people fantasize, I don't want to say this on TV, but um, anyway, I'm fantasizing right now. And um, in about two seconds, I'm not gonna be right here. Okay, I'm back. I gotta go. Thanks. But I'd like to give you a signed picture, and it's oh, it's, a, it's a signed print of this. This is in our arts district. It's the Armory, and it's going to be a performing arts center. So at least you sort of know that you're in Pawtucket. This is the Pawtucket Armory. Um, you know that you've been in God's country, and you can, I'm sure, frame it and put it on your wall with all your awards. Thank you. Hey, I'm so excited. I really think I've reached the pinnacle of my career. I'm here with a, uh, a legendary porn star, um, actress extraordinary, and, and I, I don't think I could ask to be in a better place right now. I'm, I'm 22, and I'm here. I don't take my clothes off, but, uh, but I feel the energy there. Yeah. I'm excited. It's going to be good. It's going to be a, a glorious 15 minutes. 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> what do you think about the movie being shot here? Well, I live up the road in Attleboro, so it's uh, kind of a thrill for me to come down and uh, meet Marilyn Chambers and uh, learn about a movie that's being shot here. It don't happen every day. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I guess I have to turn it off for some reason. I need to go outside for a minute. Benjamin. Ooh. Ooh. Some paper. Hey. 